Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the importance of mitosis. You should then be able to describe the stages of the cell cycle involving mitosis. We've already seen that both plant and animal cells contain a nucleus and I'm showing you that here. In the nucleus we find chromosomes and they're made of the molecule DNA. So this cell contains four chromosomes. Now one key fact is that body cells contain two of each chromosome, in other words they're paired. In this cell we can see a pair of long chromosomes here and also a pair of short chromosomes here. Human body cells contain 23 pairs of chromosomes. Now I should point out that certain cells called gametes have got chromosomes which are not paired and we're going to look at that in a later video. So I'm showing you a close-up of a pair of chromosomes here and that brings us to our second key point. Chromosomes carry a large number of genes and these determine many of our features. These chromosomes only have four genes but most human chromosomes contain hundreds. Now animals and plants contain a very large number of cells so that means that cells have to be able to divide. That's called the cell cycle. Cells can divide by either mitosis or meiosis. We'll be looking at meiosis in a later video. In this video we're looking at mitosis. Now the cell cycle including mitosis consists of three main stages and you need to learn these. In the first stage of the cell cycle the DNA replicates to form two copies of each chromosome. I'm showing that here. As you can see the chromosome and the copy remain attached. The cell also grows and it copies its internal structures such as mitochondria and ribosomes. In the second stage of the cell cycle mitosis takes place. One set of chromosomes is pulled to each end of the cell. The nucleus also divides. In the final stage of the cell cycle the cytoplasm and the cell membrane divide to form two identical cells. So as you can see at the start we had one cell which had two pairs of chromosomes and at the end we've got two identical cells again each with two pairs of chromosomes. Now in certain textbooks you might see lots of different stages of mitosis. However for the AQA exams you're only required to know the stages I'm showing you in this video. I'm going to finish now by looking at the functions of mitosis. Remember that mitosis copies one cell into two. Firstly mitosis is essential for growth and development of multicellular organisms. Multicellular organisms have got more than one cell and plants and animals are good examples of multicellular organisms. Secondly mitosis takes place when an organism repairs itself, for example when a broken bone heals. And lastly mitosis happens during asexual reproduction and we're going to be looking at that in a later video. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the cell cycle and mitosis in my revision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay so hopefully now you should be able to describe the importance of mitosis. You should then be able to describe the stages of the cell cycle involving mitosis.